Something small but huge just happened to WordPress. It's called drag and drop and I'm going to tell you why it's such a big deal. So here's how drag and drop works and it is what it says. So now we have true drag and drop in the Gutenberg block editor. So if I want to add a heading into my page I can just drag the block from the left over into my page. As you drag it uh, you'll see a little blue line, well a big blue line will appear. You just drop it in there and you can write your heading like so. And if I want to um, add an image block in, same deal, I can just find the image block. So the whole experience now is much more drag and droppy, uh, much more akin to a normal page builder like Elementor, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, a bit later. Um, it's all very tactile, although that's probably the wrong word for it. So if I want this image block, I can just drag it in there. Now that's that's great because it's uh, you know much easier for people to understand how to get the blocks into their pages because they literally just drag them from the left over here and you see the blue line drop it there and add your blocks now that is great for inline blocks where it really really has an impact in my view though and where it's going to again take the block editor to the next level in terms of people's understanding of this is in container blocks so let me just explain the difference between normal blocks and container blocks right so with the uh, block builder there are really two main types um, of block that you get you get a normal block or inline block and then you get container blocks. So let me just explain the difference quickly and we'll start with a normal block or inline block. And the vast majority of your blocks that you, you add into your pages will be of this type. They'll be normal blocks. So if I just add this um, image block into my page here, just there, let's pop it there. Let's pop it there. There we go. And just choose my photo. And it's a, it's a very simple block. The, the normal block is very simple. You add it to your page and then you'll have some options over here on the right where you can do things like change the style. Okay, So that's an inline block. It's kind of a self-contained unit. You can't put other blocks within it. You kind of add it to your page and that's it and your page is made up of these blocks. But container blocks are much, much more powerful because you can put other blocks within them. So you can, you can achieve ri richer layouts. The cover block, so I, I should say as well, there's about three main, I think there's three main blocks that you cut that come with the block builder that would be considered container blocks. Those are the cover block, the columns block and um, the media and text block is another one. I'm going to show you an example with the cover block. So I'm just going to add it into my page and I'm going to explain why drag and drop is such a big deal for these um, container blocks. So I'm going to add um, a background image. Um, now the cover blocks are fantastic uh, for like uh, call to actions or banners for your website. Now it starts you off with um, a background image and you know, a heading over the top. And what's great about drag and drop is it's much easier for the average end user to understand that they can put other blocks within it. So for example, if I want to add the buttons block, I can just drag it from the left. And I, now I can just drop it into that, um, that container block. I can just drop it in there. And I can write my button as I normally would and then align it and do all that cool stuff. Now before we could do this in the block builder, but this drag and drop just takes it to a whole new level of um, intuitiveness and ease of use. Um, because before you had to sort of hit return or click on these, find these little buttons, these little plus signs. Now I can, if I want to add a subtitle, I can just drag a paragraph block across, drop it in there, write my text, and then align it. And it's super easy to do. Um, so I think this, I mean, it's a small thing, this drag and drop, but I think it has huge implications. Um, especially when we're talking about these these container blocks. The other reason why drag and drop, of course, is such a big deal is because of what it means to the general work, WordPress ecosystem and especially page builders. And it's really interesting uh, that this week we've seen um, key influencers who have been huge in Elementor in the past in terms of promoting it and doing tutorials on it. They're now switching to Gutenberg. Adam at WP Crafter is a good case in point. I'm just going to play a snippet of one of his latest videos and then just talk you through some of the comments that we're seeing from some of his followers, especially when they're talking about Elemental. Core Vitals, they're going to just rank higher than you. Website search engine traffic matters to me. My website, I'm officially leaving page builders behind and I'm going Gutenberg only. I've been. So here's the deal if key influencers 
Key Elementor influencers like Adam at WP Crafter are starting to fall in behind Gutenberg, then we can only see that it's going to grow and grow and grow in momentum. Here's just some of the comments that I picked out uh, um, from his YouTube video that he's just posted. It's, posted. it's been really interactive. A lot of these guys that are commenting are coming from Elementor and are now doubting whether they should be using Elementor and they're starting to think about moving across to Gutenberg. So let's just have a look at these. Uh, this is Eugene Brown. Thanks so much for always hooking us up with these videos. To anyone scrolling through the comment section like I was doing several months ago, I can't encourage you enough to look into leaving page builders and start to use Gutenberg. Uh, let's go on to a few more. Um, so this guy is talking about moving from Elemental to Gutenberg as well and, and talking about the, the enormous um, page speed uh, increases he's getting. Here's two comments here. Um, and people are scared because they're moving from Elemental. And again, they've invested a lot in Elemental, but they're seeing the future potentially as Gutenberg and people are panicking. So there's going to be an opportunity for people to help people migrating from things like Divi and Elemental across to Gutenberg for sure. Um, Again, Peter says one day ago he's going to give Gutenberg another look. Holy cow, says Piggy. Uh, I followed you when I updated my entire site using Astro and Elementor, and now it seems I should use Cadence and no more Elementor. Well, Cadence is a theme, so you can use any theme with the block builder, so it's just one of them. Um, and again, there's this big confusion between Elementor, and whether it's a page builder, whether it's a theme, and I see that a lot with our customers. Um, Thanks. This is uh, Giselle saying, thanks for being truly honest in this video, Adam. I just convert, uh, finished converting my Divi site uh, into Cadence, which is uh, a theme again, not a, not um, the block builder, uh, but a good theme. Um, the pages went to bad in the blog posts that were built with the Divi builder, having to convert them manually to Gutenberg. And that's because there's no easy conversion at the moment to go from Divi to Gutenberg, uh, because Divi kind of locks your content into the theme, which is not a great thing, to be honest, but there you go. Um, this is Buzz Reed. He says, I built my e-com site in Classic. What will happen uh, installing Gutenberg? Do I need to rebuild the whole site? You don't. So if you're if you're using the Classic Editor, Gutenberg and the Classic Editor can co coexist uh, side by side, but it might be worth migrating some of your key pages across if you want to get more control over them. And then just to finish off with this one, I think, uh, the end of Elementor, something that we will have to get used to. Well, that's a huge statement. Elementor is going to be around for years and years and years. Uh, but this is definitely a key moment in terms of drag and drop. And we're starting to see the battle hotting up between Gutenberg and these other um, more um, well-known page builders like Divi and Elementor for sure. So watch this space. It's been a big week for um, WordPress because of drag and drop.